Okay, I am standing here at the George Bushman farm. Um, this house was built around the year 1800, and it was a part of and the main edifice of the 12th Corps head, uh, Hospital rather, here from July 2nd through August the 5th of 1863. On this farm, which only the house remains, um, there were over 1,200 wounded, 125 of them uh, being Confederate. Um, as we take a look over here at the wall, you'll see some uh, Gettysburg granite that, that has been uh, cut from stone, and you can still see the uh, cut marks, the drill bit marks on the side here. Um, over in the distance here, just beyond the run, you can see in the center of the screen one of the original springs that sat here on the property. Um, and I, as we walk over here toward the house, uh, there is a Civil War plaque on the side. Now, in charge of this 12th Corps Hospital was the medical director, Surgeon John McNulty. Um, he was assisted by Surgeon Artemis Chapel and Surgeon John uh, E. Herbst. Uh, now, the medical officer in charge uh, of the Corps Hospital was H. Ernest Goodman, of the 28th Pennsylvania. Um, again, a few small outbuildings uh, do remain, but uh, the, the barn, the original barn, and a couple other structures that once sat here are gone. Now, of course, the house, like I said, it was built uh, just around the year 1800, which makes it one of the older structures here in Gettysburg. One thing I, that I thought was strange, I talked to somebody and they told me that this tree was here during the battle, being a witness tree. Um, it's a very strange looking tree. Um, the way it sits on the ground here with its trunk. Um, and it is quite rotted, but still alive. It's very big. It's, it's several feet around. and in circumference. And of course this was a, a very large farm here during the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, and again, in recap, it was the site of the 12th Corps Hospital under Surgeon John McNulty, who was the 12th Corps Medical Director this has been the George Bushman Farm here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.